Hey y'all, good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever you guys time zone is when you're viewing this, salutations. <laughs> my name is Just Jess and welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here today. It is an honor to be your video host, I guess. So, Let's get started with just a chit chatting get ready with me style video because I'm in that kind of a mood this morning to just talk a lot <laughs> and then go in with some sort of a primer now in my last video I got the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer in my Boxy Charm this month and I am trying to give it more of a go so I'm going to do that right now it does come out with the slight tint color but I feel like it's going to just, it is a decent color for my skin. So we are going to put this all over the face, like seeps on into my skin. That way we can have a flawless, flawless start, which would aid in a flawless finish. Okay, so just upon using this a little bit more, I really like this primer. I'm going to be using this quite a bit, Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer, because it does give kind of a lift to the skin. It's, I wouldn't say tacky, it's not sticky, but I feel like it will help my makeup adhere more to my face. I just, I really like this, guys. This is a win for me. BoxyCharm did it when they put this in there. Very nice addition. Now that my face is all primed and ready to go, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I have to admit, I'm very excited, you guys, because this foundation is something that has been a long time coming to the drugstore. Um, hopefully, I can display that it is more full coverage, but I feel like I have worn it before and I feel like you have to build it up. You have to put about two layers of it to really get the full coverage effect. So I really feel like this is a medium to full coverage foundation. Um, so, that I mean, that's my own observation. Some people may not agree, but now that we are primed and ready to go, I'm going to start working this onto my face. I do... Honestly, I see a little bit of oxidation. Oxid, oxid, it oxidizes. I don't know what the other form is. But when you, you're you pressing it onto the skin, it is a lot darker than it, it seems in the tube for me. So like I said, guys, this is one layer of the foundation. And it, it did cover up quite a bit of my blemishes and my redness in that pinkier shade of tone in my skin. So as far as that's considered, I don't know, not mad about it at all. There's my tea. I'm gonna go finish up and be right back y'all. All right y'all, so this is what the foundation looks like on the skin. Get in the light a little bit. Like I said, I'd, it covers up redness and irritation really well. As you can see, it covered that so nicely. So I'm really not mad about it. Um, but if you do have blemishes and things like that, I honestly feel like this kind of accentuates in a slightest kind of bit. Um, I don't know. It's just my interpretation of it. But I'm not mad. I'm really not mad at all because I like this so far. But we're going to wear it some more and I'm going to give you more tea on it. Alright guys, I am honestly in need of washing all of my brushes. So, in lieu of that, I'm going to dip into some new ones. This is the Real Techniques Limited Edition um, Get Gorgeous set. I'm going to go over to the Real Techniques site real, real quick and see if this is still available online for you guys. I personally bought this at Kohl's. Um, and this is in fact a newer product. It is on on it is sell it is selling for $19.99. It says it is limited edition. Um, so if you guys are wanting something like this, 
It comes with a Instapop full cheek brush. It comes with the Instapop full accent brush as well. It's kind of like a dome top. There's an Instapop crease brush, a pointed foundation brush, and a lip brush, which honestly was what kind of caught my eye over here in this corner. This is the slaying corner, I suppose. Alright, so now for the eyes, I'm going to go into this crease brush. I'm knocking over everything. Gracious. Bless my heart. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? I've recently been really enjoying this Too Faced Clover palette. I just feel like it has the perfect mix of shimmer shades and matte shades. Oh look, brushes on my keyboard. I just, I don't know, you guys, I like that. I love the color right here, Fur Baby, to carve out my crease a little bit. So, first I'm going to prime the eyelids, so because I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm getting so excited. I'm going to go in with the Tarte Lid Lock Eye Base in shade Buff. I'm, I haven't even really heard much about this, I'm going to be honest. I feel like I hear more about the Urban Decay, the little eye primers, primer potions. I hear about those quite a bit. Might have to get one. I'm going to let y'all in on a little trick that I like to use. I like to use scotch tape and that way you have a nice like straight sharp eyeshadow and I usually go in with this after the um, just the little bitty pieces here. Just so I, you know, you don't get outside the line. I really am trying to go for that really sharp um, bottom line there. The only issue is if you place them too high on one side and too low on the other, then your eyes are going to look kind of cattywampus. So let me concentrate on this real quick. I'm going to go in to Chihuahua first to kind of set down that... Um, that is the shade right here. Just to kind of set down that eye base. I'm going to go everywhere. Alright, so that is done. Now I need to find my favorite. There we go. My favorite It Cosmetics Dazzling Crease Brush. It's big and fluffy. It's got like a um, dome not really a dome but it's really big and fluffy I love it to just get in my crease I'm gonna go in with fur baby over here these shades are just ones I gravitate to I don't neutrality I guess neutrality. just kind of pack it on there on the outside and I'm gonna drag it in I love this I mean I I'm utterly obsessed with these two shades especially to go in first with it just I don't know it gives me that kind of defined eye and it helps with my semi hooded eyes into the color because I feel like a little cranberry -ness going on let's go into daddy heart me so what daddies love me Let's go into that cranberry shade, 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 and just, oh yeah, oh yeah, honey, oh yeah. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of like work this into that crease a little bit. I'm living for this cranberry shade. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm really living for it. Alright, I'm going to use the same brush, the little Instapop crease brush that I used on the um, Chihuahua shade. And I'm going to go back in and use this shade. I'm trying to decide. Let's go into the Love is Love color. It's a nice matte just to pack. A little pink onto the lid 
loving that pink kind of just blend it just a little bit with that her brush just so it's not like obvious where you put I mean it's gonna be obvious because it's a nice color but anywho so I'm gonna use as I drop everything and you know I'm gonna use the Stila Magnificent Metals look at that reflect oh so nice in the shade Sea Siren so my camera cut off for that the entire application of that I'm not even remotely done guys but I kind of just paused for a moment of silence because that made me a little bit ticked that it would do that. I'm just taking Daddy Loves Me after you apply that and just going on the outer edge of it just to kind of fluff out that edge where the Magnificent Metals start and the other eyeshadow meets with it. Um, after that first application, I'm not going to use any more. Just kind of blend it all together. Okay. I kind of like that. Okay. So here goes the other eye. Magnificent Metals on hand. Again, I'm going to start from the middle of my eye and swoop it up. Oh, my eye. That tape sometimes will get you. And just go all over that lid. Bring it back down. Just look at that, guys. Oh my gosh, but can you see the difference, too? So it's more of like a sparkle um, fade into that cranberry shade. That's why I like to go back over and kind of make everything seamless. I'm absolutely in love with that. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows, my liner, and um, let's just put on some falsies today. I like the Be Natural ones from Salon Perfect. I get these at Walmart. Um, I got a five pack just because... I am definitely trying to branch into using lashes. I use the little tardiest lash applicator. You can get this at um, Ulta or Sephora. Mascara, I use Total Temptation in the shade Black, I believe, from Maybelline. I also used the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Liquid Eyeliner in Black Noir. So that's that. And then I use for my brows this new Total Temptation Soft Brown number 305 Brow Definer. I am really liking this brow definer, guys. So just go. And go all the way out. Just side note, guys. Sometimes not using the brush itself, but using your fingers to kind of pat down that concealer after carving gives it more of an airbrushed finish. God, I love it. I absolutely am in love with brows right now. Some people don't like doing their concealer after all of that. I actually kind of more or less prefer it. I think it's enough. Get a dampened beauty blender and shall be back. And press in that concealer. This is my problem eye. So if you see some of the concealer coming off with when I pat, it's probably because of that is where my skin's a little bit drier. We're going to dab into some Cody Airspun. This stuff is so good. Oh, this is the extra coverage Cody Airspun translucent powder. Fake pet 
crease in the places where you don't want to crease on your concealer and this is one place that I tend to crease a lot. Let me do the other eye and see y'all in a sec. Alright guys, while that's baking, let's put some bronzer on. I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Better Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. Just start from your hairline and swoop. Ooh, y'all. I really like this brush for this. With no additional product, just go and start kind of pushing that bronzer upward, smoothing out set lines, swoop, don't. Oh my gosh. Now I'm just going to use this It Brushes, uh, your must-have kabuki brush, and wipe away that bake. That way, kind of. Use it on the rest of my face, but like, don't put any extra on, because I have found when I do put extra, it ends up caking up my makeup just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Ooh, love it. Love it, honey. Alright, we're going to go in with blush real quick. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Apricot in the Mitchell. So cute. And I'm going to use this uh, Moda Beauty. I'm going to pat this into there. Tap off the excess. And just kind of... Give me a little pop. This is definitely one of my favorites again. There we go. Alright guys, so there is, oh, what is my hair doing? It's splooshing. There we go. Alright, blend out that eyeshadow just a little bit more, just so it's not as apparent. Oh my goodness. That is just so pretty for to highlight the brow bone too. This molten gold I am living for. So now that the brow bone is highlighted and we are getting near the finish, I went ahead and used the Tarte Pout Prep Lip Exfoliant. Um, I really like this. It, to me, it has the consistency of like a sugar scrub, but the sugars are like a little bit finer, so it's not as abrasive to the lip. I really recommend this. Um, oh, girl. So like anything else, you want to set your makeup so it doesn't move on you and it doesn't come up cakey. I'm going to use the ever so awesome... Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. I really enjoyed this one. I went by Ulta today. I'm probably going to butcher this, y'all, but the Mario Badescu? 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 I don't know. Mario's. Mario's little uh, skin mists. I might have to get some. But as you guys can see, occasionally you have those little bitty water droplets on your face. I use this big, honestly... I got this out of the Cody Airspun when I opened it up. I use it to just pack that skin mist on. That way you don't cake up. Pat that in. Now that that's patted in, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade 15 Lover. Like you said, I wanted to exfoliate first, and then I just love this applicator on these. They are just perfection when it comes to applying. This is just such a pretty shade, guys.
So anyway, you guys, thank you so much, y'all, for coming out. I, I really do appreciate it. Y'all are amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Hit that big red button. You know you want to push my buttons. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post my next video. Thank you guys so much. So much for hanging out with me. Love y'all. Bye.